Welcome to the story of dentist Dr. Long Vo, a successful dentist outside of Toronto in Burlington, Ontario. How did he become successful? How did he get to us? That's what we promised to tell you, and so we're going to start with that. That's right. I think he's a very interesting case in the sense that, as you said, he's already a successful dentist, but he's moving to a whole new location where he's never practiced before, has zero online presence because of that. But how does he find us? Well, I, he, he really shows these three main themes that we talk about. Yes. Get found online. Well, he found us he because found us. we are all over the web and we have lots of content out there. And, you know, we comment on blogs. And he saw a blog post that Charlie commented on. He did. And we've got a whole technique about what to do with those for another time. And he followed the link that you left in that comment. Very smart of Charlie to leave those comments and those links. So he followed that, and that is the second principle. So we get found, engage with your audience. Right. So Dr. Longvo engaged with what he found on the other side of that link. He went to a couple of our webinars. He started buying up all he our products. products. We're like, wow, this guy. Who is, is this guy? We keep seeing him. So we contact him directly. He's already now into some of our automatic responses, our autoresponders. And that's the third principle, which is follow up and build the relationship. And that's what those autoresponders began doing. And then suddenly he was emailing us, and we were in contact, and we we're chatting back and forth. And, and he before says, we know it, we're in Toronto. We're up in Toronto. Because he had said to us, you don't have to tell me about anything else. I want platinum. He wanted to buy platinum from us. So that's we said, right. we're going up to Toronto. It's a fair trip for us to go up there. But we love the international work that we're able to do. So there we are. So we have four phases that we went through to help Dr. Longvo. Because as Dr. Mark said, he had no presence before we started talking to him. So our first thing is we did an assess. Exactly. Same thing that you do in your dental practice every time a new patient comes to you. You have to sort of size up the situation, take that x-ray. So you look at someone's online presence. And so we spent a bunch of time doing searches on Dr. Longvo, looking at his presence, looking at where he was and where he was not. And he was not just about anywhere. So we like to say, when you do your x-rays, you look for cavities. We look for gaps in your online presence, and we look at how to fill those gaps. So right. we began with a comprehensive assessment and giving him some feedback about what he looked like right now, which and was very easy because he was. wasn't there. But we wanted to <clears throat> see. Uh, sometimes you think you're not there, and you are. You're on some of these uh, comment sure. sites or some of these review sites. We need to know all of that. So with Dr. Longvo, then we went up there. We spent three days with him on our initial trip, much of which was spent in our defined phase. Exactly. And before we went up there, the same as we do with all of our clients, we had him work and on and complete our comprehensive questionnaire and planning guide for the defined phase. Lots and lots of pages of information about his practice. About he learned a lot about himself. That's Not only did we learn exactly. about him, he learned about himself. Exactly. And that allows us to be very, very productive when we sit down and work with you, is that we have all of that information. We've reviewed it ahead of time. It's all fresh in your mind because you've just filled it all out. So then we sit down with Dr. Longvo and spend, as you said, three full days up there in Toronto. We did all kinds of stuff. We played Mystery Shopper. We went and looked at the other dental practices. Charlie had a great little story about his wife sending him off on the honey-do list here to go check out for where the new dentists are. So we wanted to see how his competitors treated their new patients. What kind of materials did they give out? We wanted to really know that because part of the define phase is figuring out how you're going to be a unique entity. You're not going to, you're not going to have competition at the end of that define now, phase. Now, you don't have the same story that he has. He was one of the boat people coming over from Vietnam. He has stories of three generations in his family. Yeah. You may not have all of that. We help people because we see things mm. that you don't even see. So we helped him define who his ideal patients were. Exactly. Who's the ideal patient that's going to not only be the best person that you, you can work with, that you enjoy working with, but also the person who gives the greatest return in, on investment to the business of your practice. Yes. Then it was, what is the story that he wants to put out to those ideal patients? Right. I often say that we want you to be an inch wide and 20 miles deep. Each one of those ideal patients has a different story, a different way you talk to that person. So we had to define that, and then we had to define with him the time, the time frame. frame. How quickly he wanted to become this online dominant presence. So by the end of that, we have the ideal patient profile, we have the depth of unique expertise, we have the marriage of the two that makes the perfect uh, business relationship, and we have the timeline. And at the end of the defined phase, what we do, and what we did with him, what we do with all our clients, is provide the blueprint. Here is right. what the next 12 months of practice development and marketing is going to look like using the 
dental top doc legend system. So we start with where are you? We then define ideal patients, what you your want to tell them and your expertise story. and what you want to put out there as your story and over what time frame. Then you know what kind of content to put out there. So that's in our third phase. That's in create. Create. And that's where we get to have a lot of fun with rolling up our sleeves we did a series of interviews with Dr. Longvo, and that's often the format that we use. But it can be webinars, it can be interview format, and we Blog create posts, lots and lots audio. of video. And then we create a ton of content out of that interview. So one 45-minute interview turned into, I believe, 61 videos yes. by the time we were done editing and re-editing and putting that together. Audio from those become an entire podcast show on iTunes. And they all go out over the internet. So when someone asks a specific question, this aches. How do I bleach this? What do I do with a crown? How do I work with children? All those things have separate answers. So when someone's asking for that, that specific answer is out there. So we created all this exactly. good content. And all of that content is built around the keywords that come out of that define phase. Right. So in that define phase, so we have keywords and phrases about the ideal patient that's out there, and we have keywords and phrases about your expertise, about Dr. Longvo's expertise. What is it that people are searching for? And those titles and descriptions of all that great content that we create that goes all over the web, not your website, lots of websites. Right. all over the place, so it's there where the person is searching. Now, wouldn't it be nice to go into the gym, get buff, and never need to exercise again? Yes, that would be nice. Would be nice, yes, we both suffer from that. <laughs> but it's just like with your patients, you can do whatever the procedure is you want them to con continue to come back to you to get checkups. So that goes to our fourth phase, and that's monitor. That's right. In monitor, we are constantly essentially doing reassessments where you're bringing your patient back several times a year. You're going to do x-rays every so often to make sure things are going okay. You're trying to do prevention. You're also trying to really you know, solve problems before they even arise and, and nip it in the bud. All of that coming out of this, this great content that we're creating. And we create new content. New content, and we see exactly where it goes. So we took him through assess, define, create, and monitor. And that's why he's now all over the web. That's why you have seen some of those results on that's the right. screen here. He is out there. People are finding him. He's now a success. So that's been the story of Dr. Long Vo. And that's it, right? That's all it is. That's right. But, but wait, we promised we would give you more than just Dr. Long Vo's story. We promised we'd tell you a little bit about our story as well. About our story. Well, of course, we did exactly the same thing about our story as we did for Dr. Long Vo. We hadn't been together very long when we decided we wanted to write a best-selling book. That's right. So that was our first phase of this. We did a lot of videos, those same things that Dr. Vo found. We have several uh, places where we have blogs and podcasts. So we have audio, we have video, audio, text, all, all over. over. So right. we first took an assessment. We knew we weren't all out there because we were coming right, together We have separate first. businesses and we're starting a whole new venture here together. And so we were starting from zero to hero as well, right? We had exactly. no combined presence. We started a whole new company and a whole new way of, uh, of doing this marketing for people using content creation. So, of course, we practice what we preach. We created a ton of content. A book is a form of, of uh, information product or content creation. So we started with the book, took it to number one bestseller in our category on Amazon. Right. So we wanted to show that we had arrived. And it all comes from the define phase where we said, what do we want to become? What people we can help all kinds of people. No, 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 we need to do one small segment at a time. So we had a very tight defined phase, a lot of create, and we are always monitoring. So everything that we've done, everything that we teach, we start with ourselves That's first. Right. We do it first, we make sure it works for us, and then we take it out into the field and make it work for you. And for Dr. Longvo, the fact that it worked for us starts with where we began this little conversation here. That's how he found us, because yes. he found us because of all that content we created, all those comments that we put out on blogs. He followed that link. We engaged with him. We then followed up. We built the relationship. Those are the three goals. And isn't that exactly what you want? So through the story of Dr. Longvo and through the additional story of what we were able to do, you see how this can be highly successful for you.